I've been eating this fruit. This is um, fig fruits. They're very common in Turkey. It's so sweet, so delicious, so nutritious. And this brings me to my today's video. And I was uh, thinking to actually talk to you guys about, you know, we share a lot on this channel. And uh, I was thinking like as a person who has lived in Turkey for a long time and also engaged with business people here, here and there, I think I have two or one, two, three things that we can share or learn together, especially those uh, people who are diving into business or maybe startups, the year is ending. And if you can get an idea to start your own business, the better. So I want to share with you my top uh, maybe five or maybe six uh, business ideas inspired by Turkish culture or maybe Turkish uh, markets, business that are actually booming here in Turkey, that you can start wherever you are, depending on where you are, you can get inspired and start this business. Because I know you guys, we need money. We need to make money. And if you don't have a right idea, you will end up wasting your money and also end up wasting your time. The very first business idea I have for you that has been inspired by Turkish culture or maybe Turkish business here, it is something to do with their culture in terms of actually the drinks or maybe what they drink. The first one is Turkish coffee or maybe coffee um, idea. Now, when I talk about this, you don't necessarily have to do the way they are doing, but if you can, the better, because it's gonna be a new idea to the market, to your people, wherever you are. Find suppliers who can supply to you coffee. Uh, if you don't know, Turkish people love their coffee like too much. Their coffee, they love them, they use them for various occasions, even on their engagement. They drink it uh, on a daily basis and it is something that i have seen here booming if you can start uh maybe let's say a cafe uh, yeah that is the name a restaurant whereby you will be offering this kind of maybe uh, coffee and i'm not just limiting you to coffee only you can include other items now you can it goes well with something like tea depending on where you are and the local people that you are serving you can start a business in terms of actually serving coffee or this kind of drinks coffee these hot drinks like coffee uh, tea uh, and other soft drinks if you can and depending on uh, your situation or depending on your location you target people who are maybe going to work early hours or maybe late hours who are coming people can come you can make a very beautiful place and people can come and hang around and drink these kind of things make sure that you or you are doing your research market in terms of market wise and in terms of actually where you're going to be finding your products and if you can you can still import from turkey even though I know Turkish uh, in terms of coffee, they are imp also importing from Africa, most of them, uh, like from other countries, they are not producing coffee themselves. Now, if you want to make it, maybe you know certain uh, people who are Turkish and they love, they really love to come to your place, you can also put in like, uh, be inspired and actually start a, a cafe that whereby you're going to be targeting Turkish people in your local area and you can buy uh, this cup for coffee coffee set and then actually serve them uh, you can actually check how we normally make the Turkish coffee I have shared with you several times how you can make your Turkish coffee and you can buy these little machines or maybe the sun that they normally use traditionally you can learn and then start serving to your people remember people always love uh, something that is new something that is actually uh, new to the eye and also exciting so I'm sure people will love to actually test their coffee and especially in small cups like the coffee mugs and stuff like that i just finished this is a larger one but we have the smaller ones i just finished mine here i normally have turkish coffee when i'm working or maybe when i'm doing some work or doing my stuff here so i just had some turkish coffee uh, some water and some uh, fruits they normally serve some candies on certain things like this and a tray 
and they normally make their coffee in a certain way that if it is traditional you can make on a small stuff that is called chesve but we still have machines on markets that can actually fasten the process and you can try starting this business let me tell you this business is a good good one because for you just maybe in certain areas whereby we have in the city center being served at Turkish coffee uh, it is in terms of business why it brings money okay so that is the idea number one I wanted to share with you pick it think about it and also target have uh, your audience like who am I going to serve uh, who am I going to target Let's come to another thing that uh, actually is my business number two that I know it's gonna do well depending or maybe regardless of where you are. The second one is actually in terms of actually tourism. Okay, tourism, because why am I talking about tourism? Turkey is a beautiful place. Most people come here to tour, to sightsee, to see various things. And I'm, I'm sure that in your local country, we have, uh, we have certain areas whereby people can actually go and tour. Now, I'm not saying that you own this place because they are actually government restricted certain places, maybe like a wild park but you can partner with the people who are actually providing be uh, these kind of services uh, you 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 get maybe a van not a van <laughs> a traveling I don't know the right name to use the vehicle for transporting people to these certain areas especially tourists or especially people from other countries people who are interested in seeing certain areas so you target uh, certain areas that are actually uh, people are interested in for instance if you target people whereby maybe people want to know about the culture of Kenya or some wildlife stuff you partner with those people who are actually providing uh, the services for touring okay tourism or maybe something like that and then people can go into seeing this wildlife seeing these beautiful places you can still even partner with the people or maybe with the people who have a restaurant there who have hotels there in terms of actually traveling the agencies those agencies you can target those people talk to them and say that you want to partner with them depending on how you can uh, you can actually negotiate and see how it it goes remember people love to enjoy themselves love to spend a lot of money and you can build an audience maybe by opening uh, an online uh, shop or not shop uh, an online page whereby you are targeting people from outside telling them that you can actually you you gonna be representing yourself maybe as a tour guide agency something like that uh, but in real sense you're gonna be offering other things in terms of actually taking them you can own a, if you have a, your own car you can take them if you don't have you can hire or depending on how you're gonna uh, try to negotiate remember while I'm talking about this there are so many things that are actually needed in terms of paperwork in terms of the government fees and stuff like that so you must do your research before diving in but I think that is a very good idea because I have seen it booming in Turkey one of the most booming business it is in terms of actually uh, tourism because like I said people normally come to Turkey to tour there are so many restaurants in Turkey beautiful places beautiful beaches beautiful uh, historical places that people normally come here to actually uh, do what uh, tour and see this brings me to another point or maybe another business idea when it comes to transportation you see these people when they come uh, to tour uh, they do not come with their own cars. They need someone to transport them. You can start a, in your local area You can start whereby you will be transporting people to various places especially the visitors who are coming so if you can have your own car uh, you can do services like this similar like to uber but not uber maybe you can register on uber app and stuff like that and start offering these services as a business idea i don't know if you are getting me but I just think that it's one of the best way to start a business now let's move on to another business idea inspired by turkish culture or maybe turkish markets it is in terms of actually uh, agricultural products now turkey has a lot of things that we can talk about the whole day when it comes to agriculture starting with their fruit starting with their 
uh, maybe local produce, starting with a lot of things. Now, I'm going to pick a few of them so that we can discuss. Let's talk about something that I know it is super lucrative, like it's going to bring a lot of money and that is actually oil. And I'm talking about olive oil. Now, we still have other oils like essential oils that are actually highly produced here, but I'm focusing on olive oil because number one, olive oil is super expensive in and even in our own country in Kenya. It is super, super expensive. And if you can get a supplier, even though I think there are certain restrictions when it comes to these kind of things, but with the right uh, person, you can be, actually you can start importing from Turkey or maybe find the best thing why i recommend you import from turkey it is because of their authenticity it is super super real because sometimes we normally say that we have bought olive oil but it's not olive oil in other countries okay now i'm speaking from experience because in my village in my husband's place we have uh, olive trees we're gonna be harvesting two months uh, from now we're gonna be harvesting and they normally harvest plant like they have planted and then they harvest them they take them to them uh, to their factories they press the oil and start using and never buy uh, in my house we never buy uh, olive oil from market because we produce by ourselves now if you can get a supplier someone who can supply to you this is a business that can actually be very profitable because like I said, it is super expensive. People want to invest in their health and olive oil, we all know that it is super, super healthy uh, in terms of actually uh, food wise and also in terms of actually uh, skin wise. So that is a business idea I wanted to share with you. Now, you can also dive into other things like fruits. Maybe you target, uh, you target dry fruit because when you talk about fresh fruits it can be very difficult for you to handle but when it comes to dry fruits uh, there are so many dry fruits dry nuts that you can import from turkey and start a business i'm talking about hazelnuts i'm talking about walnuts i'm talking about uh, apricots i'm talking about almonds all of these they are super valuable here in turkey in plenty if you can find the right supplier who can supply to you all these kind of fruits it's gonna be very very profitable in terms of actually selling to your local people uh, or your local country things that are not common in your country because let me tell you like i said people love some new ideas some to, people love to test something new now this brings me maybe to my fourth or maybe my fifth point or business idea inspired by Turkish markets. It is in terms of actually uh, what we call textile, textile or apparels. Okay. Now I'm not telling you that you should if you cannot um, import well and good but if you can you can actually start a business whereby uh, you import your outfits or maybe your textile prof uh, products from turkey remember turkey when it comes to textile it is one of the best one of the uh countries that people act actually come here to do business and uh, import stuff and take them to their countries and start a business so you can start that kind of business you import from turkey and resell in your local country you import in wholesale prices depending on how you want and then you're gonna do what you're gonna actually start reselling in your own country the best thing about this pro uh, this uh, business it is because like we all let's say if you dive into maybe something like ladies shoes when you buy something like this it doesn't expire or maybe it doesn't of course i know fashion uh never expires but still you can actually resell and sell it doesn't have a lot in terms of inventory okay you can start even when you you don't have a shop you just sell online or maybe physically in your home tell people i have good 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 outfits ladies love to wear nice outfits i'm not just saying limiting you to ladies but we have ladies and men and children and stuff like that and you can also add in another business idea that goes well when it comes to these kind of things in terms of cosmetic or maybe beauty products remember Turkey has a lot of things to offer and uh, like I said we can speak about them the whole day now beauty product that I'm talking about it is in terms of skincare products in terms of uh, cosmetic products in terms of hair products in terms of uh, all those best perfumes, best stuff for 
just for beauty you know you can actually import this thing from turkey and start your own business wherever you are it's gonna be a very lucrative business that i highly recommend you to try still on the topic of actually text uh on the topic of agriculture we were talking about it and uh maybe my six point or maybe my six business idea it is in terms of actually spices okay uh what i mean by spices or maybe uh, things to do with the kitchen uh what i mean is that turkey has a lot of uh spices when it comes to cooking wise there are a lot of them oregano they have uh they have a lot of them they have uh what do we call cumins we have uh, cinnamon we have um I can't even name all of them but we have a lot of different spices that you want to try uh, so if you're thinking you can import from Turkey and then actually do what start a business and I'm not just limiting you to import from Turkey you can find even in your local area start a business whereby you will be serving people uh, spices different kind of spices to do with their kitchen and the best thing is that you can also add in some things like kitchen uh, appliances whereby people will be putting their spices off those kind of things okay depending on how you want it okay are we together i think up to there we are together and if you're liking my content you want to hear more you want me to dive in give you some business ideas that i know that gonna do well another business that i know gonna do well when it comes to actually being inspired by turkish culture or maybe turkish life it is in terms of tutoring uh languages different kind of languages if you are actually a professional you know how to uh, maybe you know different kind of languages for instance you know how to speak english you can teach you can be a teacher or a tutor in different kinds of languages uh like english german spanish arabic all those italian all those good languages you can actually tutor you your locals depending on where you are remember turkey is a country by they're speaking their language in terms of turkish they do not uh, actually speak other languages most of the time even though we have people who speak those languages so i know that this kind of business is going to do well because depending on your local area or maybe local people because uh, like i said in turkey a lot of people are investing into their education learning new languages even their school and it is a booming business that i want or i highly recommend you to try in your local area or in your local uh, place you can find a group of people and start tutoring them or maybe you can even open a place where by especially you target the young children who are still or people who want to actually learn new languages and you can offer these services and actually it can be very profitable if you do it the right way for instance if you are kenyan in most cases we normally speak english you don't have to actually offer english but we have uh, parents who are staying abroad who are actually raising bilingual kids or trilingual kids like mine here they do not speak swahili you can start an agency or a business uh, whereby you can be offering uh, swahili lessons even online or maybe in person and let me tell you you never know or maybe you will be surprised at how many people how many interracial or maybe bilingual trilingual kids will be interested parents who want their kids to learn these kind of languages okay so it is a good idea that i highly recommend you to try and i'm not just saying about swahili and english you can offer other languages if you know uh, something to do with german you can start a german school or a german uh, small business idea a uh, small business school whereby not a school but an, an agency whereby you're going to be offering these services both online and also offline up to there guys i think i'm gonna stop here because we have learned a few idea business idea that i think they are uh, they're gonna do well and actually being inspired by turkish culture or turkish business markets i'll see you next in my next videos bye bye